Hello, I'm James George with Creative Beacon, and this week I'm going to show you a neat retro monitor effect in Photoshop. Now, if you grew up in the early 80s and 90s, then you're familiar with the old green monitors where uh, the pictures were not clear. Uh, the uh, it was real linear. You had these scan lines that went across the the monitor, and so we're going to recreate that effect in Photoshop. So uh, you have your image, and uh, if you just hit Command or Control on the PC, Command or Control J to duplicate the layer, we're going to go up to Filter, and um, normally you know you have all your filters up and down here, but you have filter gallery where you can find some uh, compact features that aren't spread out through everything. And so these are uh, artistic effects and things like that. And so normally when you go into here, you have you look through all your artistic brushes and different uh, effects and things like that. If you go down to sketch, there's a halftone pattern. And what you can do is normally this is what you get. You get this uh, pixelated like dot halftone effect that creates your image. It's uh, this was typical in uh, a lot of printing uh, back in the earlier days before everything went digital. There was you'd had to shoot a photostatic copy, and I, I'm not going to go into all that. But I mean, you the, this was uh, big in the older days of printing. And so if you uh, change the dot, the, see it's got a pattern type here, and you can adjust the size and the contrast, but you can turn dot into, you have the option to do circle, but I don't, uh, that's strange looking. And then you have line. And so you don't want to increase the size because it just, it starts to blow out, and it really just, you lose the effect. Uh, the smaller the lines, the better, because the I don't remember monitors being that terrible where the lines were huge like that. Unless unless your monitor uh, had experienced a power surge and was starting to go out. Anyway, so if you just click OK, you get that effect. And the reason I wanted you to duplicate the layer is because it creates a negative effect for all the dark areas. But if you click on the blend mode for your halftone layer and switch to overlay it goes over the image nicely so you still get the image effect but you know that's that's sort of the effect but it's not all the way and what you can do is create a new layer and then we're going to select a nice green for the foreground. Nice bright green and fill it. And then you can change the blend mode to color. And you get that that old school monitor effect where it was totally green and you had those scan lines in there. And that's pretty much the effect. You can you can play around with the filter gallery and different effects that you can create, but essentially uh, this is the effect. Now this does work though. You could see in some of the areas, like the the lighter areas, where the effect is sort of blown out. This effect does seem to work better with darker. You can see here the darker areas of images. So the darker your image, like if you use an image with a black background. This is going to work pretty good, or at least a dark, like a charcoal colored background. You'll get a better effect than if you use it with a light background like this one. But I just wanted to show you the 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 differences here and what um, you know. Sometimes it works with some images, sometimes it doesn't, especially like this one with the lighter areas. But you can just crop that out or. Um, mask out the woman in the the bullhorn and uh, create your own background if you want to it's uh it's really up to you but you get the 
retro monitor effect. Well, that's it for this week. I'm James George, and this is Creative Beacon.